What's up YouTube? We're back and I'm finally working on the F-250. We sold the Jeep, we posted it first day, first looker actually came and bought it. He offered me 1800 bucks. Like I told you, I only had 800 into it, well 850, so I took our money and ran. So we're gonna be working on this. I wanted to wait and get that done, get it sold before I started buying stuff for this because as you know, we gotta have money to do that. So. I was going to work on the bumper today, get that pulled out, but I'm not gonna do that yet because I don't have a bumper yet and it just doesn't make sense. But what I can do is work on getting this box level. You can see that I've gotten it about where it goes. I just put a six by six under there, jacked it up a little bit. It moves up pretty easy. I think that looks pretty good, but I was hooking up a stereo in Steele's Jeep. Well, we already hooked up a, a radio, but he wanted an amp and a subwoofer. So we hooked up two subs and an amp in his Jeep last night. We're out here working and all of a sudden, all my lights and all my outlets went out. I've been down to the basement five times, flipping switches, none of them blew. I have had a problem in the past with this little guy blowing. These are not made to have multiple circuits coming off them. You know, it's made for a bathroom or a kitchen or wherever water is present. So this little fuse inside here cannot handle very much um, power. So we're gonna switch that out real quick, see if I can't get my shop lights all working. Then I can get underneath this thing, get this box sitting nice. What I think I can do is just get in there into the frame into the bottom of the box and build a spacer and I'll just weld that in there. We'll get this truck sitting somewhat level again. So I'm gonna get started on this, try to get some light in here. But for the meantime, what's up to all the new subscribers? We had an influx and I'm seriously grateful to all you guys. And if you're new here or you're a viewer and you're not a subscriber, what we do is basically buy cars, fix them, sell them, make money, you know, like a lot of the other channels. I buy cars from Copart, but my main goal is to show you how to pick up a car, where to get your parts cheapest, and you know, the best way to fix it. And generally, we do it the cheapest way. Um, you don't have to buy expensive parts, you don't have to buy new parts. Uh, you know, you just take a little bit of thinking and a little bit of ingenuity, and you can come up with pretty much anything. So, that's basically what my channel's founded on, is fixing things with what you have in your garage. So we got it. I originally thought it was this because this thing pops all the time. Um, I don't know if it was a combination of that, but I replaced it with a new plug, new contacts. The wires were in that other one pretty loose. But check this out. There's that spaghetti. So the line comes in from the garage up in there, follows this big black one down. Comes in, goes over here, actually goes to this top circuit. You can see I have two wires going into it and two on off switches. Well, the top one was the garage and I, I tracked this line back and forth like 10 times, could not find a problem with it. There's no brakes, there's nothing. So I came down here and I was flipping that back and forth. So then I said, screw it. I knocked off the whole circuit right there, main power in, pulled that breaker out, switched them wires around put the top one in the bottom, the bottom one in the top, put it back in, flipped it on, and now the boys don't have power in their bedroom and I have power in the ground. So, this top one circuit is bad. I don't know, it's the oldest and ugliest one in there. Look at it, they're all new except for this one. So, I'm gonna go buy a new breaker and hopefully that fixes it. So, we finally got power in the garage. I'm gonna run to the hardware store because the boys need power in their room. We're gonna swap that bad boy out. Don't judge me on that wiring, I did not do it. But when you got six kids and you know, you got a big family, and you gotta learn how to do this stuff yourself. I actually bought a house one time and remodeled it, rewired the whole house. I bought a book from Home Depot and taught myself, wired in my own box and everything, past inspections, but yeah, I'm just, one of those guys that likes to learn how to do everything himself. I'd rather not have to pay someone to do it, you know? And having that knowledge really helps you in diagnosing and fixing other things. 
So there we go, to the hardware store. We have restored the light. Thank God, because that was bothering me. So, we're back to this. I cut two plates. We're gonna put one plate on the bottom of the bed there, one plate on the bottom of the bed there, because, you know, obviously it rusted out, so it's weak metal. We want to cover as much ground as we possibly can, so when we put this up there, you know, we can tack some welds around it. It isn't gonna take much. It's just to hold it up, you know. So, we got that. I've got some 3 16 iron that we're gonna build a leg off of the frame that's gonna come up on an angle like so and it's gonna weld to this you know coming up to the frame I'll show you but we gotta bend this so I've got my homemade anvil out here I am going to hammer on that and put a little bit of an angle because the frame is straight up I want to hit the center of that square if I go straight up I'm on the edge so I'm gonna bend hit that I'll, I'll show you. I've got my angle. That's what I want. So now I'm going to go take a couple measurements and we'll get this thing built. This is another money pit of a hobby right here. Them things break every time you drive them. Where's the body at? In the house? Yeah. It looks so sick. But it's got king shots. So that's nice. It's got anodized hubs mm -hmm. so his king shock exploded on him yeah you ought to take that knuckle off the bottom screw it on there and then put it back on you know what I mean yeah you're I'll never gonna be able to screw that shaft in yeah I see it was a good idea you need to get an allen hopefully that's not stripped out I'll take this. that hub right there to the shock bolts into That's a sweet crawler. He just spent $45 on a XJ body yesterday. So he's got a white XJ. Steele's got his silver XJ. So boom. I'm working on this. I'm procrastinating. I'm sick of all the metal falling on my face or all the sparks. I'll get some light up there and show you guys what I got going. You can't really see it. Uh, I mean it's going good. It's just kind of a pain in the butt because you're overhead welding and you're laying right underneath it So it just It just drops all those sparks on you and they all burn. All right. There it is Painted it's welded to the box good welded to the frame good I've taken the jack off and it held itself in place. So I Like it. It's painted. I mean, I don't know of any other better way without buying a new box and we ain't buying a new box the outside appearance of the box looks great but we've got the body line up where it needs to be with no jack underneath it I figured that 316 steel that's some pretty stout stuff so I felt like if I used anything smaller that just the sheer weight of the bed would you know with bumps and everything would eventually bend the strap or it would sag. I've got that square plate welded right to the strongest part of the bed, right at the front. Um, it's going to take a long time for that plate to ever go up through. And by then, this box will probably be so, so shot that it needs to be replaced anyway. But right now, at this moment, I don't feel like the box needs to be replaced. It's still pretty clean. So we're going to shoot over to the other side, get that one done, and then I want to wash this thing. We left Copart. It's still been sitting here dirty, so... I want to get this thing washed up and uh, dive in and see what else we got to do to this thing. All right, I've custom bent my second piece. We'll put this up underneath there, figure out which link I got to cut it. Weld it in. Everybody should have a big chunk of hardwood in their garage. You can use that thing for so many different things. It's just great to have around. All right, there's side one. And here is side two. Looks a lot better than it did. So let me get underneath here and paint this and then uh, we'll wash this truck. Here's the passenger side. Like I said, this side was a lot cleaner. Not clean by any means, but a lot cleaner. So we were able to get better welds on the box itself. Um, 3 16 iron, that's some pretty stout stuff. That'll hold 
up anything you want it to. So yeah, that's what I did. Let's get this thing pulled out. Everything seems to work. I've had a lot of people comment and tell me, stay away from the 5-4, a lot of them. And I know that. Like I said in my other video, I've rarely ever heard a 5-4 that runs and drives good. You know, you always have that manifold. You gotta worry about them back spark plugs. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. But I don't know, I just got a feeling from this one when I looked at it, I could tell that, you know, it was taken care of. And I was just kind of hoping that it was maintained throughout the years. And I really think it was. So it really does truly drive really good. Um, yeah, we got the bumper rubbing over there. What do you think? You think I can get 2,600 bucks out of that? I think I can. And if I get 2,600 bucks, I make $1,000 to literally drive to Copart, drive this thing home. I just worked underneath it for about 35, 40 minutes, getting that bed sitting right. And I'm gonna have, well, I don't know, hour, hour and a half into this front bumper, putting a new one on, and then, you know, cleaning it. So, what do you think? Honestly, I think I'm going to put it up for 3,400, 3,500. And I think it's gonna go instantly. I think it's gonna go quick because anyone that comes here and drives it is going to like it. So, and it's dirty right now and it still looks great. Now I'm gonna wash it. Let's see what that does. Just look at those wheels. Man, this stuff works great. I mean, they're just shiny. Look at the other side, this is what they looked like. And you literally just spray it on and spray it off. You know, it's easy. It even got, you know how when you get dirty tires and that residue doesn't want to come off and your tires stay looking like that, it takes that stuff off too. And there it is. I think it looks really nice, actually. That's how I saw it when I looked at it at Copart. And then I brought it home and it was all dirty and muddy. But that's the truck I saw and that's why I bought it. Um, gosh, you can just tell it's a good truck. <laughs> Everybody's warning me on the 5.4. I already know, that's why you don't see me driving many Fords or buying many Fords unless they're extremely maintained. Anything that's maintained will run for a long time. It's just that these things needed a lot more maintenance and a lot of people didn't keep up on it, you know? But for a Michigan truck, it's nice. I want to know down in the comments what you guys would post this for for sale. I'm thinking 3300 bucks, and I think it's going to sell fast. To the first person that comes, I think I'll have people beating down my door. Um, no matter what, I'm going to make a thousand bucks off this, and I always aim for, you know, 500 and up, because if I can get about a week's pay, I'm happy. 
We've still got a couple more things to do with it. People have been asking for the video on this. Um, so I figured I'd make one. I wanted to get that box set and nice before I did anything. Because you come to look at this, the box is sitting crooked and it's shaking and it's not mounted properly. That just turns a person off. May end up getting a bumper for this thing. I don't know yet. If I can find a bumper cheap, I will. If I can't find a bumper cheap, I'll get my come along on there. I'll pull that out. I'll slap it together as best I can, make it look good, decent, and I'll sell it. Um, for the most part, it's a beautiful truck. The inside's beautiful, everything works. I don't know that you'll see me buy another Ford on this channel, <laughs> unless it looks like this one, and I can tell it's been, you know, loved. But there it is. Gosh, I really wanna know what you guys think it's worth. And I know the five fours are junk on 90% of them. And mostly here, it's F-150s. These trucks, I'm telling you, the, in Michigan, you only see these with the 7.3 and uh, the V10. That's it. I've, I swear I've never seen one with a 5.4 in it. That's why it blew my mind. Might as well own it, I guess. Let's just take a quick look at this interior. Does yours have carbon fiber? Look at that. Crazy. This thing's a beast. Dash looks nice. Headliner is beautiful. The upholstery is beautiful. Carpets, gorgeous. I mean, what more can you ask for, guys? I do want to do a little bit of work to this door. I did get it open, but it opens hard. We need to get some grease on that pin, free it up a little bit with some uh, PB Blast. I'm gonna take these toggle switches out too. I found out what the toggles go to. If you look under here, you can see that light, all them lights. We also have lights down the side here that have been broken over time, you see it? There's three of them there. Why the heck you'd wire them up to something looking like that? I have no idea. He obviously never had plans to sell it, I guess, but. Yeah, we'll clean this thing up. Well, <laughs> Britt will clean this thing up and it'll look brand new. It'll drive like new. Um, I don't think it's gonna have any problems selling. I wish I could steal these tires for Steel's Jeep, honestly. 16 inch rims, freaking oddball. The paint match bumper though, look at that. Doesn't that just change the truck? You don't see many of them with paint match bumpers, but when they do have it, or any truck for that matter. They just look cool. Paint match grill, paint match bumper. It just ties that whole front end together. Makes it look just beefy, I think. You know? Gosh. I don't know. I'm gonna wrap this video up here though, guys. Seriously, let me know what you'd sell it for or what you'd post it at. What are your opinions on it? We already know no one likes the 5.4. Get it. You know, anybody who knows cars, or trucks for that matter, knows the 5.4 is trash. If it hasn't been maintained. But if it has been maintained and kept up over the years, it will last. Let me know. I want your opinions. What you'd post this for sale at. What else would you do for it? Would you put a bumper on it? Um, I want to know. If anybody else knows other ways to fix that box, there's gotta be other ways out there because I'm telling you with a box that looks that nice, no one's going to buy a new box. And that's really the only way to fix that. I mean, that whole channel that runs across there is rusted out and that's kind of what I welded my plates to. The only way you're fixing that is a new box with new mounts. This was my version as to how to fix the saggy box with what I had for free in my garage, you know? I've got what you have in your garage, you know? Wrenches, hammers, tape measures, you know? A lot of people may not have a welder. Everyone's got a buddy that can weld. Weld you some steel to the frame, bring it up on an angle, weld it to a plate. You know, that, that five by five inch plate, it's gonna take a long time for that box to rust out. 
for that five inch plate to go up through. That's gonna last a few years, honestly. You know, and by then, like I said, this box will probably be trashed. You know, if someone can get, I don't know, five more years out of this truck with a four by four, looking the way it does, for my minimum I'll take for it, it's 2,900 bucks. That's a steal. I'd buy, I'd drive this thing for five years for 2,900 bucks. Let me know if you think I'm gonna have a hard time selling it. But I'm gonna wrap this up, guys. All the new subscribers, I hope you like what you see. Um, and everyone else watching my videos, basically what we're doing here is just, we fix cars with what we have in our garage. Just basic, everyday tools. So, I hope you like what you saw. Maybe consider subscribing if you got value from this video. Um, if you learn anything, maybe like the video for me. I really appreciate it. That shows YouTube we're good people. And uh, yeah, have a good day. Peace.